Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another speed build. Whew, you guys, I have been on a roll with building lately and usually I kind of uh, get sick of it, honestly. I just, I kind of lose inspiration, but I don't know, lately I've just been, I don't know, I think it's just, okay, I, I know it seems like I brag on myself a lot, <laughs> but I think I've just been so proud of the way they turn out and I'm growing in my skills that I'm just so proud of it. So once I like how something turns out, I'm immediately looking for my next house that I want to build, my next little project. So I've definitely been having a lot of fun building. And since I'm doing a lot of building on my channel, you know, it's just easier for me to be consistent like that at the time being. So yeah, it's a good thing that, you know, I'm not sick of it because that would be a problem. But anyways, you guys, today we are building a, um, hmm. It's kind of like a craftsman style house, but it it's a little, it's country, it's southern themed, like a little southern craftsman, and it's a small family home. It is three bedroom and two bath. It has a basement with a laundry room down there, and I think this house is so freaking precious. If only the interior decorations and everything wasn't so expensive. This would be like the perfect little family starter home, but fun fact, I don't usually play with starter homes or start with starter homes or families like most people do. I just, you know, this is a small house, okay? It's, it's an ideal small house for like a little family. Um, it is furnished for uh, mom and dad or mom, if you will, or dad, if you will. I don't care. Married, single, whatever. And then there is two bedrooms for the children. And the bedrooms for the children are quite small. So, I mean, you could definitely take out that wall and just make it a two-bedroom. But I wanted this to be like a small family home. So, I kind of split the bedrooms up and made it just, they're just small. They're very small. But they work, so it's okay. <laughs> they're functional. Um... But yeah, I I was imagining it with one child, and I really didn't imagine them having a second child at first. Um, I kind of just imagined maybe a potentially, potentially, pot potentially, there you go, potentially having a second child, and they have an extra bedroom for a child, and I was going to put, you know, like some crafts stuff in there and kind of like a little hobby room um or just kind of like an empty room that they're waiting to do something with I don't know I just that was the vibe I was going for I guess because the house was so small um but I did definitely want to have three bedroom and have you know a potential bedroom for a second child but anyways I ended up putting the basement downstairs so I was like no that doesn't make sense I feel like they would kind of store their stuff downstairs in the basement rather than you know upstairs um, or in the main floor in the spare bedroom so I did end up making it a nursery so this house is um, furnished for a mom and dad a daughter who is a child and a little boy who is a little infant so he's a little baby he's a newborn um, so yeah, that is how I decided to furnish the house, what family I had in mind, but I definitely, definitely, definitely love this house. Um, I, I do like smaller houses <laughs> just because they look so homey and they're so much easier to freaking furnish. And, you know, recently in my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, I do quite some big builds because I'm refurnishing or re not refurnishing, recreating houses from the Sims 3. So there um, sometimes is some some big houses, and I'm doing like my speed builds and apartments in between um, the families that I'm recreating. So ugh, you know, I sometimes want to do like smaller houses. <laughs> so this is definitely one of them, and I did build it on quite a small lot. It's built in Windenburg just because it is more of like a southern country world, like the countryside of Windenburg. Y'all know me; I said it probably like the past three or four voiceovers but I'm holding out for some kind of like 
southern world or like more country world where there's like farms and it just looks like country and so you can build houses like this like farmhouses and you know houses out in the backwoods this is <laughs> what this house reminded me of um, it's very common down here in the south where I live I love these types of houses I think they're so cute so yeah I didn't have a lot of empty space you know in Windenburg out there in the countryside but since it was such a small house um, I did put it on a very small lot so the yard is not big at all it, there's barely even a freaking yard. I just put like a nice little deck back there and did what I could. But hey, like I said, it's a little starter home for a little family. But I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. Um, and I don't think I've ever used this color wood. Um, I've noticed that in my builds that I usually tend to lean towards like the darker wood or either a white <laughs> when I do like my wood and my interior and decor and theme um but i was following a house off of pinterest and i will go ahead and link that um down below if you guys want to see that let me know if that's something that you want me to do i know some people are like please put the floor plan i don't know why you guys want to see the floor plan but um i guess i don't know if you want to see how great i did or how bad i did or how poor of a i don't know um or if you're just curious to see you know what website it was i got the floor plan from Anyways, let me know if you want me to start doing that because 99% of all of my speed builds is based off of a floor plan. Like I said, I just can't come in here and just like build and come up with something spectacular and beautiful all on my own. It just ain't happening. <laughs> so yeah, if you want me to do that, let me know. I don't mind doing it at all. I'm going to try to do it. I just, I kind of forget sometimes because I do these voiceovers and editing and everything a few days before I actually end up posting because, you know, I'm trying to stay ahead and whatnot. But anyways, yeah, let me know if that's something that you want to see. But anyways, I am trying my hardest to get better at cluttering, you guys. Um, I have, like, mixed opinions on clutter. I don't like too much clutter. Sometimes, you know, it's just too much and it looks too messy. And I don't know if it's like the OCD in me kicking in, but I just, it's too much sometimes. Um, so I'm trying to do a little bit better. And like I said, I think that's why I'm enjoying building so much because I'm, I, I am getting better. I'm seeing myself grow and learn new tricks and tips from a bunch of different builders. So shout out to like Simlessy, Avalyn, 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 I don't know. How I think it's Avalyn. I think that's how you say her name. Um, those are like my two favorite builders. I love to watch their speed builds. Every time they post, I watch their builds. Um, let me know who are some of your favorite builders. I also love Little Simsy, of course. Um, but yeah, let me know who are some of your favorite builders in The Sims. I'm always looking for new builders um, just so I can, you know, grow my knowledge because I watch so many speed builds and I learn something new. I'm like, well, you can do that. That's a cool little trick. And it just makes it so much more fun when you are building and decorating. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. And anyways, I think that this kitchen, this house turned out so nice. I love these these parent yeah parenthood cabinets that light wood color swatch which I do have reshade in so I'm not really sure how bright it is off of reshade like when you don't have reshade installed but um, I imagine that it's, it's not too much of a difference it just kind of like saturates it a little bit but I really really love that color wood like I said I don't usually go for that wood but I'm, I'm trying new things and I think it turned out so freaking cute and yeah as you'll see as i'm furnishing the house um it's a small house <laughs> well i mean it's a decent sized house but i do have three bedrooms so it's a little bit cramped but i think it turned out perfect it's cozy it's comfortable i cut out a ton of footage from the living room because i really wanted to include a coffee table but for some reason, like the square, you know, the four by four, two by, not four by four, oh my gosh, that's a huge coffee table. The two by two, there you go. The two by two coffee tables were just too big. They looked like it was just way too close. And as, and as small as the house was, it just looked like there wasn't any room to walk around. Um, and then the 
you know, the smaller coffee tables, they just looked kind of awkward there. Like, there was too much space between the couch and the fireplace. And, I don't know, I just, I literally went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with the coffee tables. And see, this one right here, I almost used it. It's really not that bad, but I ended up deleting it um, just because I wanted it to look like there was more room. And the living room is kind of clutter well it's not cluttered it's just kind of crowded because i didn't really have a space anywhere else to put like a, a desk so i did put their desk a little like office area in the living room so they do have a computer and a bookshelf and everything um that they need you know to study and do all their computer work and work from home school work whatever in the living room so we have pretty much everything that you need i think depending on like the sims that you want to you know have live in this house i don't know what their skills are but um yeah good luck <laughs> finding some place to add other skill objects because it's kind of cluttered here um but yeah anyways i still think it turned out really nice to be so cluttered um but yeah anyways you guys how are y'all <laughs> Ah, the only thing about speed builds, and y'all know me, I hate them because of voiceovers. It's just awkward, and I feel like I ramble, and who wants to listen to me ramble? Who wants to listen to me, like, gasping for air and breath because pregnant and can't breathe? Um, but also, I'm, like, a little stuffy this morning for some reason. I don't know why, so if I sniffle, I do apologize. Ignore me, but... Anyways, while we have, you know, the nice decoration and decorating, whatever you want to call it, going on in the background, let me just, you know, talk about some random stuff. Just give you a little bit of an update on me and how I am doing. So, as far as, like, the pregnancy update, I don't think that I have given you guys an update in a, in a bit as far as, like, how I'm feeling and everything um, and how far along I am. So, by the time you're watching this, I should be 21 weeks. I should be uploading it in that week span so 21 weeks which means you know i'm halfway there which is freaking insane so insane to think about in like four months i want to have a baby and i was thinking about it yesterday and i asked my boyfriend i was just like you know i know i'm pregnant i'm very aware of it i feel pregnant i look pregnant now i can feel the little baby kicking um he's very active i feel him kicking all the time i know i'm pregnant but there's just something like about sometimes I'll just like catch myself kind of like thinking about having a baby and then it just like hits me. I'm just like, oh my, my God, I'm about to have a baby. Like, I don't even know how to explain the feeling. It's just, it's unreal. <laughs> um, it's just knowing that my whole life is about to change. It's not about to be, or it's not going to be about me anymore. You know, my child is going to come first. Every decision that I make is going to be because of him and in his best interest. And, I mean, that's a really good thing, but it's also just life-changing, obviously, to have a child. And I already love it so much. <laughs> and I haven't even laid my eyes on it, really, except on ultrasounds. <laughs> I haven't held it. It hasn't necessarily entered into this world officially yet. So, as much as I love it now, feeling it inside of me, I know that once... I finally give birth and it is in my arms and it's here and it's a part of me and this other human, my boyfriend who I love so much. It's like a mixture of both of us and it's the feels, y'all. I'm in my feels right now just because I'm getting closer and I'm so excited, but I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> like, I'm going to have a baby. It's just crazy. It just like hits me sometimes and I'm just like flabbergasted. Like, what even? <laughs> How am I old enough to have a baby? <laughs> It's just crazy because, like, all the people I went to high school with and some that are even, like, younger than me, I get on Facebook because, like, every day somebody's, like, getting pregnant or they're like, oh, we're expecting or, oh, here's our gender reveal. And I'm just like, dang, everybody's getting pregnant. But it's like, no, you are at that age where people get pregnant. So it's okay. And it's like, shoot, life, I'm growing up. This is adulting. <laughs> I'm starting my own family. It's just crazy, y'all crazy <laughs> let me know if you're a mom and if you have those if you had these feelings i'm pretty sure every mom does but 
you know, or if you're not, if you're excited to start your family, um, just let me know. I mean, let's just conversate in the comments. Let's talk, you know, because I'm just rambling here. We're just talking. <laughs> but anyways, we are in the master bedroom now. And the master bedroom is actually quite roomy compared to the rest of the house. Um, over here in this corner, I ended up putting like a little closet there and then... I sized down the dresser just because um, it was too big. <laughs> so I sized that down and put some like makeup and like decorations over there. Kind of like a little area that I imagine the mom would, you know, get ready for work or get ready for her day. Or I guess the dad too. But, you know, I did add some cologne and, you know, Axe spray and whatnot for him. But, yeah, I think their room is so cute. Um... It's just, I don't know, it's very homey to me. I definitely, definitely, definitely could see me living in a house like this, especially as I'm starting my own family. I think this is like the perfect little house for like a, a small family. Um, you know, if you wanted to download this house and, you know, use it for a single sim or newlyweds, you have two extra bedrooms for your children. When I play the sims, I like to do that. <laughs> Even when I start with just one single sim, Nine times out of ten, if it's one single sim, I'm going to put them in a house with two bedrooms just in case something happens and they get pregnant because I do like to play with Risky Ruhu on. <laughs> I keep it on about 5%. So there's a, you know, she's woohooing around, you know, getting around downtown, you know, has a boyfriend and they're, you know, just woohooing every now and then. It's possible that it could happen. I'm proof, you know. Sometimes you don't plan for these things to happen, but it's a big blessing and I want my Sims to have, like, an extra bedroom. I don't want them to, oh, crap, I'm pregnant. I need to find somewhere to live, like, ASAP. I don't have enough room. I want them to be able to grow where they're at and then like if their family grows any bigger it's more realistic to move afterwards you know what I'm saying so yeah when I play the sims just a fun fact <laughs> I typically don't like to start off in one bedroom houses um, I don't know I'm just not into the single sim life I like to play the family life I like to play with families and that whole aspect which speaking of that can we please, I know I feel like I'm just always like, can we please have this? Can we please have that? I'm becoming one of those needy simmers, but I really, really would love to see a Generations type pack. Something like we had in The Sims 3. Um, it doesn't have to be like exactly like that, obviously. I know that in The Sims 4, they typically add new things that we've never really seen before or had before so that's exciting i'd be excited to see what they give us but some things that i would really like to see um i want to see like prom hello i loved it when my sims had to go to prom it was prom time it was so much fun i love 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 love, love the graduation huge big deal i hope that we get that with university some type of graduation i just really hope that they tie in university with the other ages for like the school kids and stuff i just i don't know i just feel like we need more and i say it all the time i'm gonna keep saying it until we get it because i need it in my gameplay i just feel like i'm missing so much i don't even like to really play anymore that's why well besides the fact that you know it's hard for me to be consistent right now with Let's Plays. That's another reason why I just, like, even my current household, I just can't get into the gameplay because I know what I'm missing. I feel like I know what's about to come, and I just can't play until I get my hands on it, you know? So, yeah. But also, apart from, like, prom and graduations, bring back slow dancing. Do y'all remember that? Oh, my gosh. I loved slow dancing. It was so sweet and romantic. Why did they take that out? I don't understand, but we need that back. What else? You could, like, go egging. You could, like, sneak out as teenagers, you know. Just just stuff. And, like, the grandparents could, like, brag about their grandkids. And they, you know, pull out their little pictures and show everybody their grandkids and their family. That was so cute. Like, let's give the elders some activities, some, like, knitting. Their little canes. They had little canes. Oh, my gosh. I, please. Please give us this back like we need it. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, that's what I want to see <laughs> after, you know, university. Um, I would also like to see a tropical pack. I mean, <laughs> I'm so needy right now. <laughs> it's not funny. But, anyways, here's the little nursery that I was talking about. Um, and I did furnish it for, like, a little boy. Well, I mean, it's kind of gender neutral, but... 
I had a little boy in mind, a little newborn, and I did pull out some debug objects. I put out a bottle and um, a little diaper, and I made a little makeshift changing table here. Y'all, my indigestion is so bad. That's why I keep, like, <sighs> pausing in between. My word is like no matter what I drink or eat, it's just uh, indigestion is killing me. <laughs> and I put over there like the body care essentials, <laughs> which I imagine would be like some lotion and baby powder and stuff like that. So as you can see, the rooms are very freaking small, but they work, like I said, for this small house. So I didn't really put anything on the other wall, just like um, a little potty for him because I didn't have any room in the bathrooms to put a potty. Um, and then I just put like the little um, decor on the wall with the little clouds and the little air balloons, which is really cute. And then for the hallway, I added the little thermostat and just some pictures and a rug. Um, but I really, really, really do like the basement downstairs, which I never, ever, and I'm serious, I never build houses with basements, ever, ever. Just because here in the South, it's just not common. We don't have basements. There may be a house in a neighborhood every now and then that'll have a basement, but nine times out of ten, houses around here, especially new construction, does not have basements. I don't know why, but... I'm kind of freaked out by basements. If I'm going to have a basement in my house, it needs to have an exit. <laughs> like, there needs to be a door on the outside leading out. There's just something about being underground, enclosed, that freaks me the heck out. But, um, in this floor plan I was following, there was actually a basement, which was perfect because I needed <laughs> a washer and dryer and a little storage area because this house is so freaking small. So, I loved how I was able to fit that, um you know, the staircase in the hallway right there, and it just looked perfect, but anyways, here I am outside just putting a little bench out here on the porch, and I do add a lot of plants, and I don't think I mentioned, I didn't, I didn't mention really the landscaping or any of that when I was doing the exterior of the house, um, but right there in front of the house, I put the three little planter boxes because I was kind of like struggling with what to put there. I was going to put like some bushes, but at the same time, the bushes just looked like too much because the house is so small and the lot is so small. So I ended up putting those little planter boxes there, which I think turned out really, really cute. And then here's the back deck. I didn't put a roof over the back deck just because their backyard is so freaking small. Um, <laughs> I just wanted them to have a lot of like sunlight out there, you know. So I put um, a, the picnic table out there with a the little umbrella. I gave them a little toddler pool and I gave them the little water balloon basket you know, for the child to have something to do because I didn't really have a lot of room to put, you know, a swing set or anything like that. But, yeah, I put a bird feeder and, like, some wind chimes out here. And I just think it is so cute, y'all. I hope you like it. <sighs> if you did, be sure to thumbs up. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. It is available for download on the gallery. So if you like it, give it a download. Give me a follow on there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. She's waiting for love to be